for a Harley Davidson motorcycle. And we're going to go through the process of the roughing stage and the finishing stages. We're going to measure the surface texture along the way. So stay tuned. Here we go. This is a typical set of stones that we would use for honing. This stone, as you can kind of see, has a fairly coarse stone, and this is what we use for roughing. And we'll get the size within a couple of thousands. And we'll use a finer stone. This one actually happens to be a 220 grit, and we'll finish up with that. And then we'll go in with a brush so that we'll have a true plateau hone finish. As you can kind of hear, this cylinder is way out of round. And we're going to be taking about 25 thousandths out to get it to the size we want to go to. I've shut the hone down for a minute here just so you can kind of see how bad this cylinder really is. The lighter spots, of course, are where we've actually honed, and you can see the darker spots where the cylinder is way out around. All right, we're going to check our cylinder for size. Shows we're about three thousandths under there, and about three thousandths under at that point right there. So we've got about 3,000 yet to take out. What we're going to do next is we're going to check the surface finish to show you what the difference is with the different stones. This is called a profilometer, and its job is to measure texture on the surface of uh, an object. What we're going to do is we're going to take and stick this down in the cylinder. Hit the start button. And this will measure five areas that are about 30 thousandths long each, and it'll take the average. You'll notice this is measuring in RA, which is the arithmetic average. You can see we've got about a 74.4 reading on this, which is pretty coarse. We want to be down somewhere between 18 and 28. Now we're going to take and set the machine up, change the stones, and finish off the honing process with a 220 grit. All right, we'll check her for size now. So we're a couple of tenths over at the top, which is fine. Right there, okay, so we're looking good. We've got a couple tenths of taper in this, which is fine. And now we're going to check the surface texture with the 220 stones to see what we can wind up with. about a 29.2, which is pretty close to what we want to be at, but we need just a couple more points to this right in the ballpark. To finish off our job here, we're going to use some brushes to actually improve our surface finish and get rid of any little stray hairs that might be hanging off the cylinder from the honing process. We're going to run this for about 20 seconds or 20 strokes. Now 
Now we'll take and check our surface texture again. We're at 29.2. see we've improved that to 21.1. We want to be for this set, particular set of rings between 18 and 28, so we're right there. Well, we've got one more cylinder to do, and then this guy can take his bike out for a nice long ride. <laughs> 